Hi, this is Nancy Drew. Say no more. Hello, Nancy. What's the latest? I came across a reference to someone whom Dirk referred to as Pappy. Probably his father, Kashmir Valentine. He was a blacksmith over in Prescott. Would Francis have known who he was? Oh, yes. Dirk worshipped his father. Which is ironic, because by the time Dirk was arrested, his father had pretty much disowned him out of shame. Talk to you soon. You do that. Okay. Now let's uh, head over to the trail stop. In the trail stop, you can uh, pick up some more uh, arrowhead thingies. Like this one. Good. And there's this one. And, and this is Here Lies Charlie. Best mule would ever live, never kick me or nothing. Oh. Sounds good for Charlie. Let's see if we got any other arrow hands. Here's one. I think I'll let Bob do the walking. And there's four. Okay. We did everything we could do at the trail stop. Now let's go back to a dry creek. There's a little rose in Texas that I'm gonna see. Nobody else could miss her, not half as much as me. She cried so when I left her, it like to broke my heart. Saying if we ever meet again, we never more shall part. Alrighty, let's go to Cappy's. Now, Pappy's name was Cashmere, as Charlena told us. Looks like I need to put in a password. Now, the order to uh, do this in, you're gonna see because when you move them, you move the letters, it moves to certain other letters, and all sorts of crazy stuff like that. So, you're gonna have to put letter number seven in first. Okay, number seven, then number six, then number eight, then number three. Okay, then number two. And number five. Okay. Then number one. And number four. Alrighty. Take your forks and a crank to the BDI's ranch and make sure you see what's below. When you stick the forks in and give it a spin, off toward my treasure and you'll go. Okay, well, that's Dirk's little clue. Kind of a very vague and obscure clue. But in order to solve it, we're going to have to go back to Mary Yazzie's. So let's go to Mary. Because Mary has the forks. See, the forks are the tuning forks that are in Mary's Yazzie's. That's what they uh, refer to. Tuning forks that belong, belong, belong. If I ask, maybe Mary will let me borrow these. See, they say F H. That means they must be Francis Humber's tuning forks. Hi, can I help you with something? I noticed some tuning forks over there. Would it be okay mm -hmm. if I borrowed them for a while? Tell you what, if you go out and find me ten arrowheads for this display I'm working on, I'll give them to you for free. You can put them in this. Already done, Mary. I already have ten arrowheads, see? So you do. It looks like I only need nine to finish this display. So here, keep this arrowhead. Thanks for your help, Nancy. Okay. Those tuning forks are all yours. It was great talking to you. Catch you later. All right. That was simple. All righty. So, now back to Dry Creek. <laughs> okay, now the rest of Dirk's clue was the BDI Ranch. I, I, I'm not quite sure what that refers to, but... Actually, it refers to this. Let me show you. See, BD... It kind of looks like a BD, right? 
Nah, not really. But in any case, I'll bet Dirk custom made this, which means I better not go mess the shape of this box. Looks familiar. In any case, that's what the uh, thing refers to. So let's go back to Cappy's and put the box into the indentation this here. That reminds me of something. Oh, uh oh. Okay. And now you need to put the tune on forks in the right places. Just spell Francis. I actually need to put them in the holes. F R A N C E S. And it. Now I'm turning the crank. Ooh. Uh oh. Broke something. What did I break? Let me try that again, folks. Oh, I don't think I can try it again. Well, in any case, what happened is this broke. The lamp broke. And you're now supposed to. Now go and peek beneath zebra rock and a tractor of metal. What's there will unlock. Okay. Now go and peek beneath zebra rock and a tractor of metal. What's there will unlock. Okay, you're supposed to see an animation of this breaking, but I guess we didn't. And of course, Nancy just leaves it there for uh, whoever the evil bad guy that's living there. I'm getting a definite feeling I'm not alone. Ooh, me too. But in any case, I think it's kind of stupid. Clearly, somebody is living there at Dry Creek. And Nancy, she'll just leave the clues to the treasure right there. Right in the same room the person is sleeping in. Honestly, Nancy. Honestly. Not a very good idea. In any case, Shadow Ranch should be near the uh, end of day, too. Right? Okay. Whoop. Go put this hmm. back. Let's talk to Tex about his love of Mariazzi. Talk oh. to you later. Yahoo. I guess we can't talk to him about that. Hmm. Oh, good, good. I thought it would be night time. So, uh, before the day ends, there's two things we have to do. We have to get Tex's birthday cake and fix that chicken coop. That's a great looking cake you made, Nancy. Go get Tex and we'll eat it. Dave can help himself when he gets back. Okay. Okay, Tex. Tex must have turned the horses out for the night. Huh. Okay. Let's grab those gloves. We're gonna need them for the uh, chicken coop. Dave said you had to wear gloves, and where's Tex? Huh. Well, he's not here. Well, how am I supposed to, uh... Is he inside the house? No, I don't see him anywhere. Hmm. Let's tell Shorty. Go find Tech so we can eat that cake. Right. But, huh? Let me check to see if Tex has returned to uh, where he's supposed to be. Tex? Huh. Well, that's weird. Well, in any case, let's fix the chicken coop then. 